Hold My Drink with Charlene and Ellie, a Go Light original. When the bells ring at 12 o'clock, I cry every year. We broke up wherever long later. I was like, thank fuck. God. I didn't let him, ch- like, not let me have that unreal experience. Yeah. Like, imagine, yeah, like, it's, you have to do it. <laughs> she walked past him like McGregor, <laughs> swinging her arms and goes, where's Big Mouth now? Welcome back to Home My Drink with Charlene and Ellie. So we're back for 2022. We're back, baby. Woo! Did you miss us? And we're so, we feel like we've got away for so long. But we have, because we pre-recorded the whole of December, more or less. So it was chaotic. Chaotic. But we're so excited to be back. And we're actually feeling so, like, um, excited. Refreshed. And like, yeah, refreshed and ready to kickstart the new year. Take, take on the new year. Can't wait. So even though it's New Year, it's still your favourite girls. Of course. With the podcast. So it's just like a group chat between us and yourselves. The bachelor on night out. We chat about life, boys. All the good stuff. Relationships, drama, all that. But also uplifting things. Yes, of course. Not just boys. No. Boys are smelly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, how was your 2021? Oh, this is like the how's your week question. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Or your Christmas, not your Christmas. The Christmas was chaotic. Yeah. I'm really going with the team of the podcast. I have never drank so much alcohol. Like, as you remember should. Remember one of the podcasts I did say I'm not a huge drinker. Oh my God, what a lie. <laughs> I am the biggest liar in the whole entire world. There was more Prosecco in my body than blood over the Christmas. I just went on a bit of a rampage. Wasn't really feeling Christmas this year. Wasn't really into it. I was kind of dreading the run up to Christmas. Didn't know how I'd be feeling, so... Sometimes I you just have to distract yourself. <laughs> so that's exactly yeah. what it was. I just took all the nights out and all as just distractions. But I also had an absolute bleeding ball. That's neat. Had a great though. time. <laughs> yeah, you just need to do that sometimes. How was yours? Sure, you only came oh, home yeah. three days before Christmas. I know. I feel like I'm not even home long. Like how long? The girl yesterday was like, "How long are you home for your holidays?" I was like, "Oh my god, it's only been like twelve days or something." Is it? I feel like I'm home ages. We were all panicking while you were away. We were all like, "How's she going to get all her Christmas presents sorted? What's she going to do?" Like, I know. She's home three days. I know. Beforehand. I had to buy another suitcase over there and get. We were like, I can stuff. imagine her bedroom the day she comes home. Like, what is she going to do? Still, still, <laughs> it's like a, it's actually like a hoarder. Do you ever see the the shows where they, like a hoarder keeps all their stuff in yeah. the room? That's me. Oh, no. But I'm not even a hoarder. It's just no, I, I just actually don't need. Speak. I actually need it all. Yeah. Words, words from a hoarder. But um, no, the holiday was amazing. Yeah. Oh my god, you looked but so by, hot. By the end, like the very end, I was like, "Were you ready to come home?" Yeah, because yeah. you just want your own bed. Then I know. And we were also kind of sick of like, I feel so. I sound no grave saying, but like hopping from like place to place. No, I was gonna say I would. Then see you the, just want to go. The yeah, move and yeah. yeah. If you stayed in the one place, right? Three weeks probably would have been too long to stay in yeah. the one place. But yeah. To having to repack again, go yeah. somewhere else again. Um, but it was amazing. It would stress me It out. was just paradox. I've never been somewhere like that before. I know. It looks like Mexico and the Bahamas. I was literally crying the on the pigs. <gasps> no. Oh like you looked like you were in a fake place. Like it, it looked yeah. fake. Do only pigs live on that island? What the hell? And they taught themselves how to swim. Yeah. They don't, um, pigs don't use keep my, God. my elbows. Sorry, lads, if you're there. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> just Ellie injuring herself. For God's God. sake. Um, but yeah, no, it was just mad. And then there's another island with like just iguanas. Like all the people in Bahamas were like so chilled and like loved. Do their people life. feed them though? Yeah, you feed them. You bring bread for them. Oh, and they just eat and that. carrots. Yeah, yeah, they get fed a lot. And they find I don't know what else they eat. I don't think pigs. Yeah. Well, I don't think they are pigs eat. vegetarians. I think so. I think a lot of chickens are vegetarians. Are cows and all vegetarians? I can't like, imagine them eating meat because. That's like them, they're like yeah. that's like us eating each other. Yeah. <laughs> but they're just the cutest things that's ever. That's a question for the podcast actually. But oh my are god, animals that we eat, are they vegetarian? I think the only animals that are like um are carnivores ones are ones like lions and tigers and stuff. Oh. That's the only ones I think. You learn something new every day, yeah. lads. Because they they're they, really they do. don't actually get on lions and tigers and all. Do they not? No. I was watching a show on our family. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yeah, where, not, did go? Friends. <laughs> where did we go? I can't even remember where the stem from. Oh. No, but the Bahamas. Oh my god, I'd I'd go back to the Bahamas and have it was only, We only went on the day trip, obviously. But oh my god, like would you stay there? Would you go there yeah. and stay there? Yeah, for like a honeymoon, maybe would you? such a honeymoon place. But it was just oh. gorgeous. Everyone was it busy. 
No, because there's basically different, they're called keys. So the Bahamas isn't just one place. There's like 700 different islands oh, that are called keys. Great. So we were only at a few of them, obviously, to do each stop. But the one, the last one we were at was like a yacht club. So like where oh. all the yachts park and park, what do you say park? Where they, yeah. where they bay or whatever. And they come in, so it was so rich, like really rich people around oh. these million dollar yachts. Like, but not like overly busy. No. But we have the boat to ourselves and all going around, but everyone's just so chilled that live yeah, there. Yeah, just really relaxing. I was like, I can imagine just being happy every single day if you lived here. Really? Yeah, it was just another world. Oh, I was but like, that's, yeah. that's like their whole world because it's like, they don't need to go anywhere else because yeah. they have so many go? islands yeah. around them. Like, yeah. I think it's mad that Americans don't, usually don't go to Europe like that often because you can travel in America to we, different countries. Did we, were we talking about that last week? I don't know what we, we talked about, about. To, to an American. We said that I'm kind of like back in the day. Imagine go, like the fact if you live in America, you go on holidays in America. Yeah, imagine, imagine us doing that all the time. All like. the time. No, no. I'd actually love to see more of Ireland. That's on my bucket list. I need to go to Kerry. I've never been. I know Leanne. Leanne's delighted with herself. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to Kerry. I think. I don't think. I'm pretty sure I never have. I can't remember if I have you been or not. Stay with me. Well, Can this, I? This is going to be a home I drink roadshow. Oh yes! Yeah. Oh my Steve, god! A lot of places on to go. Cards. That's international true. And Kerry. Yay! And Kerry. <laughs> international and Kerry. First course. stop, Kerry. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah. But Christmas then I came weird, home. It? Yeah. Then I came home. We had Christmas together. Bless yeah. us. We're adorable. And New Year's. Yeah. Shirley Wait, what did we do? Cr- what did we do Christmas Eve again? Christmas Eve. Oh yeah, we did. We weren't together for that. I was in the pub. But Christmas the pub, Day, we spent together. I had to leave the pub at like eight o'clock. Mm. Like all that lark. But we managed not to catch the disease. We really didn't, and I don't know how. We, I was doing antigen tests every day to beat the band, just to make sure, just to be sure. Yeah, same. And they were all. I done two and all one day. It was brilliant. It was like it's scary though. It's actually scary than looking at a pregnancy test. Oh yeah. There's lines just going Wait, up, and you're like. <laughs> And you leave it there for the 15 minutes to make sure that that line doesn't show. I know. Did you see people like drawing in them and all? Yeah. Or like, uh, you know the way on Snapchat you can like cut picture, like you can cut certain things out of pictures. People were like cutting the red line. line. Copy and pasting it and getting a week off work, sending it into their job. Oh my God. I would do that if I had a job. Send it in there. Sorry. Bit of red mark. Can't come back for a while. Oh my fucking God. But um... I feel like over Christmas, especially there's been loads of people asking like when he's coming back I know. properly and listen to he's it. And missed us. Yeah, the messages are just a nice thing. And there. we do have loads of gossip over the Christmas. Yeah. But we'll be filling you in as the episodes go on. Don't yeah. worry, we're not going to jump straight into things just no. yet. Not what, you're, not what you're waiting to hear. Yeah, <laughs> the juicy gossip will just happen to wait. God. Um, but yeah. So tonight's, or tonight's? Tonight's show. Tonight's show. Tonight's show. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I think I am? <laughs> Do you know what I'd love to actually present like a late night show or something? Would you? Like Jimmy Fallon. But there are always men that present them. Very sexist. Bastards. Isn't it? Yeah, I actually don't know any women. Well, Oprah, but she doesn't do it anymore. The only one uh, is your one. Your one Wendy Williams or whatever she is. I don't know her. Wendy Williams, yeah. But she is a date. Who's the one tonight with Chelsea? Chelsea Handler or something? She's not, or something. They can make it that name completely up. Um, Yeah, that's the only one. Watch now, be the next Ryan Tuberty. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> way to lay Shelly on tonight's show. Um, so I'm going to tell you the story about when me and Dana were away mm-hmm. because we had to change hotels. There was two instances I'm going to tell you about, right? Yeah. That we had to leave the hotel. So the first, actually no, because once we change rooms, then change a hotel and then change hotels again, so there's three. So the first oh, time God. was Dano sees a cockroach on the floor and has a conniption, like hates any sort, anything that moves, basically. He's actually scared of a lot of things. Is he? Yeah, it, like even the roller coasters and all. Oh, so bless funny. Um, seeing the cockroach and he was like, oh, I don't want to stay here. Like we're in the jungle. And I was like, it's fine. We're Just get into bed. Jungle. Get into bed. So I'm ne- like nodding off to sleep. Oh my gosh, Shark, there's a lizard. Like the lizard was the size of this pinky nail. Like it was so small. Coming out with the, the he thinks came out with the air vent. I don't okay. think it can. So he's like, I'm not staying here and all. Gets up, was texting the fella at reception. Can we get another room? get another room we go into the next room next door uh, he woke me up three times by the way in all this because I kept going to sleep I was like I just want to go to sleep I don't care if a lizard's crawling them do you think he's swallow it or something I don't no he just thought we'd touch him but they don't they're scared they're of you terrified I know of you. anyway gets up leaves to the next room then the next night we had one night in this like jungle hotel because basically we had to book on next night to the holiday because we had booked our flights to Miami and it's there was the no flight it was the way our flight worked we had to book yeah. next night Went to it and it was called the Jungle Boutique Hotel, right? So we walked in. The guy was lovely on reception. That was fine. 
went to get dinner that night and not have been of a person in the place. <laughs> no, sorry, Charlene. It looked not, like the place was haunted or deserted. Like it looked like something had happened that, and everybody yeah, had to evacuate that, and you were the only people left exa- there. And that's what, made, that's what made me more be like, okay, let's leave. I'd be but nervous. By yeah. then, before then, Dan had already seen a lizard. Then we went out and sat there. No one came over to us. No menus. There was no cutlery. No, there was nothing on the table. the only people booked in. He said it was booked out, but I was like, I haven't seen one. Well, we didn't. We didn't see one. So we walked like around a few times, not one person. I know. So that freaked up there. That freaked me. So yeah. I was. We got back in then, and I just had like, do you know that the feeling in your stomach when like, it's like an awkward face, but in your stomach, <laughs> like your stomach just kind of towards. Do you know, like no, like do you know the awkward face? Do you know the face that's like a slash? And She's two, doing a slanty two, face. Two here. dots and two eyes. Yeah. Do you know when your stomach just feels like that? You just have that little knot, like yeah. I was, I was like, oh, I have to leave. Like, yeah. And then Dan was like, thank God for that. He was like, <laughs> he was already thinking it, and I was like, no, we have to go. Packed up all the stuff. Then on the way out, we see this fucking massive. No, but wait, what did you say to them? Hi, oh, we don't want to stay here because nobody's here. She got he t- he played me. He Does goes, he? ah, she's scared of all the folks. I was like, little to see, oh. no. But did you ask them like, why is nobody here? Why did not? Did you just get dinner? No, uh, no. No one's here just like, like did they say why though? That's no. why I'm so confused. I didn't ask. I would I didn't care at that point. Did you know? On the way out we had all our bags. Big tarantula I appears. Saw. It's in my Tulum highlights if you just want to look at it. Oh my it didn't even show how big it was. It I've was never huge. seen such a big looking. spider. And at the start I was laughing and then I was like, Oh, this is actually real. <laughs> Do you know when you don't like register something yeah, like you actually just thought it was fake. I was like, Oh my god, I was like, and it wouldn't move from the path. So Dan just like ran for it and the spider started running towards us. It was like I thought I was gonna die. Eight legged freak. And then it went up on its like hind legs, like a little Ready horse. To pounce. Oh, it was horrible. And Wait, then did you pay for that hotel? We pay, and then I, I, I textbooking dot com. This hotel is very bad. Didn't even get served any food, and I never complained. But like, it was I couldn't even get a bit of food. Like, yeah. um, and they were like, oh, we'll sort there, blah, blah blah. They gave me back eighteen euro. Ah, for fuck's sake. 18. You should have said, keep it. Keep it. Like, keep honestly, it. keep it. It probably cost more to try and get that money back. Maybe then. they maybe they went to the hotel and they were like, did they say that when they left? And he was like, no. No, yeah. But then again, it's his word against her. Anyway, got 18 euro back. Then, that was fine, got a new hotel. And the man at the next hotel actually was like, oh, there's a family of monkeys that lives around here. I was like, oh, here we go. We didn't we didn't end up seeing Dano them. Dano loved it. He said that, he said that they just run in, they like grab food and stuff and go and like go out and all. I was like, this is mental. Get me out of Mexico. And then I loved Mexico, but that, by the end of it, I was like, that's enough now. Too many that's animals. Enough. Yeah. Seeing it all. Yeah, just the spider sent me west. And then Miami was all fine. That was we didn't leave the hotel. Then Orlando, we got there. It was really late at night. It was like 10 o'clock. The queue was out the door for the hotel. Like, cool. out the door. I was like, what the fuck? Just to check in. Those Orlando hotels, though, were so huge. Like, and the, Yeah, that's the thing. Because like, so many people come yeah. for the parks. And then we went up to the hotel. And, like, there was, like, loads of people just sitting around and all, like, outside. I, mean, I think homeless people, which, like, oh. obviously, that's going to happen. But, like, it just felt like not safe or Did something it? the yeah. whole thing like it was just we had to go to another block so outside was it the one hotel. of the universal hotels no no oh. no definitely not <laughs> so we went but the pictures looked fine like but we went outside my only thing was we walked out to the next block to get to our room and there was no type of you didn't need a key to get into the lift or anything to go up oh. so anyone could walk into that block anyone from the street could walk that kind of free street street because the because road. there were so many people kind of hanging around yeah it was just a bit dodgy you just don't know like yeah. you know in, in a foreign country especially like um, and went in and the place was like in bits like it like was not you'd see in a movie it was not like the pictures and like what freaked me out it was like one of those run down motels like was it it was like that but it was the pictures were so nice and I was mm. like that, like not so nice but they were fine but the bathroom was dirty the, the room was huge but so empty there was like nothing mm. in it it was like a prison cell and then oh, what, when you're walking up to it we were on the 11th floor and I was like oh my god it was really high up but you look across and like all the rooms look the exact same and there's hundreds of them and you're looking at all these rooms all like I was like it felt like I was in like prison or something Did it, yeah. yeah and I was like we've got in and we were Some lying sort of there asylum or something like and me I think me and Dana had been arguing about something and we weren't, weren't talking <laughs> And I was like, Oh my god, they argue, lads. Did I know. They we did. I can't argue. I can't remember what we what we had to find out, but we were just sitting there and I was like, So <laughs> think we need to leave. <laughs> so I went, we were like, we need to leave. Went down, we were looking about new hotels and all, but the girl straight away goes, I goes, the room looks I don't like the pictures. Can we get a refund? She's like, Yeah. 
So they obviously get it all the time. Fuck off. She's just straight up said yeah. Straight. And I got the money back and all. Like, already you got to guess it. Yeah. Love, I love getting, like, unexpected money back. I forgot I was getting that. Yeah, I wish I could just relate. Came back I went in. for my diesel yesterday and my card declined. Happy Christmas. I'm broke. <laughs> I'm absolutely smashed. <laughs> <laughs> it literally said, oop, big red writing. Why is it actually red? It's all It's so bad. It? Decline. I was like, I oh, so my life. I, I used to feel, like, bad though if someone got declined because I'd know they'd feel embarrassed yeah. when I worked in like retail or something because I kn- I'd know that like I lied to you one I was like oh sorry it was just the wrong card no, I no, always do that I'm <laughs> broke <laughs> no sorry Christmas dumb me yeah, in yeah it absolutely ruined me <laughs> but anyway sorry um, I can't believe she just gave, gave you the money straight back oh and they must get it all the time it was like the room was disgusting like. why have they got the pictures up like that you got catfish, like your hotel got catfish. I, I reckon that a lot of people just stay there because they're like, fuck it, I can't be dragging the kids up somewhere else now. Mm. Like, just let's just leave it. Um, got a new hotel then, and it was fine. But yeah. the hotels, are, it's really hard to find a nice hotel in Orlando. We just did the Universal because we were oh, going to the park. Oh, yeah. So it was the Universal Hotel yeah. we stayed in. And it was really good. Was it? Yeah, it was, was it like nice. Five, Volcano Bay. Like, you walked through another hotel and then you were in Volcano Bay oh my god yeah, yeah no we the one actually we said ended up being the Sea World one we didn't go to it because I don't agree with that but oh, yeah. it was the only nice one we could find really only one Aww. I hate even giving them my money I don't, I don't know if they're like right it was beside Sea World maybe they yeah. don't I hope not, not. I hate the, the one that we stayed in you had to get um, like a boat taxi there was like a lake behind it oh. and to get to actual Universal you got in a boat every night. Did you see any crocodiles? No. But like you'd wait on the, this little boat taxi and you get in this little boat and it brings oh. you up to Universal and you get out and then when you're finished in Universal you just wait at the little taxi as well and it brings and you straight there? back to your hotel. Yeah, oh my really God, I didn't see actually. that. And you used to be singing on it and all every night. Oh my God, I love Universal. Yeah, it was quite cute. So good. I'd love to go back. I would go back to Orlando oh, definitely. Yeah. You'd definitely. never ever get sick of it no matter how many times you do it. No, I see why people go like every year and stuff. Yeah. Do you know sometimes when you have been somewhere like how do people just keep going the same place but no. I could see Orlando's why. Orlando's one of those places you'll always go back to. And also Dano faint on the road coaster. Did he? Well I think he did because I looked over and his head's hanging down and like I'm sorry he but he probably did pass out. Like. I think he did because otherwise you can't, you actually wouldn't be able to force you your head Your head, head down. is so forced That's, back. And the, the seat said um, keep head against the headrest to avoid serious neck and back injury. <laughs> And there's Dano's head, like a deck chair. So I couldn't even speak because I was so in shock of how scary the ride was. I was like gobsmacked. It went so fast. like. And then near the end, I was laughing because it was funny like how bad it was or how scary it was. And Dano was still like a deck chair. I was like, Dano, put your head up. And he's like, oh, sure. Uh. He did. So we went I, to Funder- me and Charlie went to Thunderland the other night. Oh, and that we were was showing Dano that we went on like the wild mouse or something, whatever it is. He, his face was white. He was literally like, no, couldn't I ever, know. ever do that. I know, like, I know. We and were he went, he went on ourselves sk- laughing on it. We thought it was the funniest oh my God. thing ever. It was so chaotic oh, and, viol- and violent. Yeah, it was. We were getting thrown around. Yeah, him. we really yeah, It didn't seem one bit safe. No, absolutely not the noise. <laughs> Did <laughs> they even get like checked? Like I don't know, I just see McGregor was there, didn't I? Oh, I see. Rolls Royce. He probably like, oh. um, got a rent it out. I wish. No, I don't think he did. I don't know. Because no, they put up like not Because they did they did before. Did they? There's yeah. just normal people there and all I was like, I oh wish my I was God. there. Oh I know. I've never seen him. Oh I ha- oh no, I have. I haven't in real life. Have you not? No. I did. Was he small? Mm, it was insane. That'll tell you how many years ago it was. When oh sin was open. Like, no, I've never. Yeah. I think I'd die a bit. Like, oh yeah, I nearly died starsha. Yeah, I'd be re- especially now. Like, yeah. I can't if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you want to come on the podcast? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any chance you want to come no, on the home? I drink? don't. I don't think I'd be able to say, interview someone like proper famous. What would you ask them? I think I'd just be starstruck. Like, yeah, I no. You'd have to ask them really interesting questions. I'm bleeding useless. Like, absolutely useless. Yeah. Yeah, is that the only hotels you went Sorry, to? yeah, that's the only one. And then we left. And then you went home? Yeah. Jeez. So we only, it probably seemed like we actually just kept, but like the only one we actually wasted money on was the today one. The, the one the, that you got 18 And it was back. only one night, yeah. So it ended up costing us like 100 euro or something. Okay. And we had to get new hotels, so it cost us that. But it was actually good because it was closer to the airport down the one we got. Okay. For the morning. So we what just, did you do? Just look it up on booking.com, whatever yeah. was available. So I was like, get... yeah, please, good reviews. We yeah. should have looked at the reviews for you and it had bad reviews. Oh, fuck. But it was five stars because it was like five good reviews or something. Oh. So we just... Oh, you nanny. looked at the stars and just thought it's grand. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, Don't no. do that. Never trust the stars. Don't never trust the stars. <laughs> Read the, Do the reviews from bad to, get, to good. Oh, and the bad ones coming first? Yeah. 
there's obviously going to be some bad, but they kept saying the same thing. Oh. And then one of them was like, all our light. A few of them said all the lights went off. I was like, if the lights had went off, I would have. No, I thought I'd be shit my pants. It, yeah. it felt like I was about to be murdered. Really? That's how, yeah. I, yeah, no. It just, do you know when you just have a good feeling you need to leave somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, it was out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Fuck this shit. <laughs> oh, we haven't done German Word of the Week in a good so few long. Weeks. She um, wasn't speaking German over Christmas at all to me and I was devastated. No, and I'm really out of practice now. I was so sad. I can't believe Calvin taught me German. I know. I know. Did you tell your mum that? No, I need to tell her actually. You need to tell her actually she'd be disgusted. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can't believe that. I think it's I think it's an old word though. Do you? Like, do you know, like, do you know the way it's like something? old English? Yeah, yeah. I think it's like an old German word. Is there a, a different way of saying it? or like? Yeah. yeah. There's no, like, yeah. Uh, that's what I'll tell myself. So yeah. Fuck uh, right. you, Calvin, you're wrong. <laughs> but German word of the week this week... What are you feeling? Okay. Uh, gesundes Essen. Gesunde Essen. Gesundes Essen. Gesundes Essen. Fuck. Gesundes Essen. Gesundes Essen. Gesundes Essen. Mm-hmm. Firework. No. Take a more the resolution vibes. Oh. Um. Diary. No. Calendar. No. To do list. Two words. So the second one is eating. Eating. Well, it's actually not. But Good it's, eating. It's a, yeah, healthy eating. Healthy yeah. eating. Oh. Well, it doesn't actually translate straight to eating, but when you say it together, it is. Do you get me? So what would you say? Put in a Hel- Sorry, thing. no. It's he- no. It's not. I actually lied. It's healthy food. Healthy I just food. Gave you the wrong. Yeah. yeah. So say in the new year, I promise I'm going to eat healthy food. Um, ich möchte im neues Jahr. No, you can't say it like that. Gesund, gesunde Essen? Yeah, gesunde Essen. That's, you forgot how to speak her own language. Guys, my br- I just had a brain fart. I'm still in December brain a little bit. Oh, come here, yeah. I haven't started yet. Gesunde Essen. Yeah, you have to add an or because it's plural. So say it for me all in one. In neues Jahr möchte ich gesunde Essen. I fucking love it. I think, I feel like I always question myself, but yeah, you get the drift, guys. So. We actually met loads of girls actually over, well, a few when we were out for New Year's, that listened to the podcast, didn't we? Oh, I was absolutely no, belligerent. We weren't, we weren't drunk then. In no Lee, no Lee. Yeah. Was that New Year's? Oh, oh the girl yeah. that sat down. Oh, yeah. yeah. When I crashed her date with Dano. Yeah. Her and Dano brought me out for New Year's. We did. It was adorable. They said, we're not letting her. Oh, that food was so nice. Oh, yeah. It was so good. We went to Nolita and we stayed there for like three hours. And I asked the girl, she was coming over taking. taking. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. The girl, sorry, excuse me. The girl was coming over taking the drinks order. And the Dano order and Charlie and order. And she was like, and yourself? And I was like, can I just have a bottle of Prosecco, please? And she was like, all for yourself? You're like, yeah, it's been a hard month. I was like, <laughs> absolutely fucking lootly. One glass. We're not sharing this shit. No way. Um, but yeah, that I was love, quite cute. But we, had, we met a few people. Didn't we? That girl that sat down, she said she loved it. The girl in the black yeah. suit. Hi. So hi for listening. Oh, yeah. She was stunning, yeah. She was, oh, was there another girl? Yeah, remember Oh, the girls outside. upstairs in yeah. the smoking area. Yeah. Oh. Well, Hi, and then, girls. And then the men who were shouting my name. They were off. pigs. What, did I, say, what did I say to him again? Um, what did you say when you were Oh, because the, the fellow that was shouting was gone. The, well, the main guy. Oh, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Big Mouth? Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you need him. <laughs> she walked past him like McGregor, <laughs> swinging her arms and goes, where's Big Mouth now? Because they said nothing when we walked by. I to, they should, but men always will shit themselves when you actually... They were shouting down from a balcony. And then, and then they were all like, yeah, and like said, mice. Diddly squat. Said nothing. Oh. You'll, you'll do absolutely nothing. Oh, it was so <laughs> funny. But yeah, hi to everyone that we met that night. I love you. Adorbs, love you. Um, But speaking of New Year's. Yes. Uh, <laughs> do you have any resolutions? No, because I fucking hate New Year's. Why I do you hate, hate it? We're, we're see, total we're, opposites. This is actually good because yeah. you're, I love it and you hate uh-uh. it. We are total opposites. Like, see when, see when you were sharing your little calendar and all last yeah. week, I got mad anxiety. I don't know. I don't like using that word because I don't think I have anxiety. Yeah, but yeah. I got mad, like, nervous. And I was like, shit, should I be doing that? And then I was like, no. Ellie, yeah. you're so lazy. You will never, ever do that. Like, don't even lie to yourself putting it up on Instagram that you're going to do that because you're <laughs> absolutely not. I just don't like it. Yeah. Something about it. Something about the unknown. Um, I don't know. Something about... Like, I have mental goals that I want to do this year. Of course, year. yeah. But there's something to do with, like, writing it down. And if it doesn't happen, it would scare the shit out of me. I, used, like, I oh. used to feel a bit like that. But then I was like, if it doesn't happen... I, I done it last year for the first time, I think, properly. Yeah. And then 
the ones that didn't happen, I was like, I'll just transfer them over. Yeah, so it didn't happen, you can just bring it them over. Ha- I think there's a lot of pressure put on it in too much of a way. <clears throat> like, it needs to start 1st of January, you need to be cutting everything about your life. It doesn't have to be so strict. Can't. No. Yeah. no. Everyone back healthy and all, I'm like, no, that's... I'll wait till next week. I'm just not in it this week. Especially because it's the bank holiday. Yeah, it fucks the bank it up. holiday. The Monday fucks it up. Who in God's name starts fresh on a Tuesday? Who actually makes Vile. up bank holidays? Because that was a really bad idea. Well, it was good for people who were off work. That's last true. Time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's got true. Got a good run of of it, but um, that's true. Yeah, no, there's just something about it. Like I get really emotional. I was out with my friend Fiona yesterday. Actually, mm-hmm. and she was saying the same thing. Like when the bells ring at twelve o'clock, I cry every year. I definitely Aww. cried this year. I've, cr- I've cried before. I it, yeah. cry all the time. Yeah. My family FaceTime me and all and I just... Oh, we did. We were on FaceTime. Yeah, I was family. screaming, crying. Yeah. Like, honest to God, I don't know what it is. There's something about like the whole... The the year that just happened is gone. It's a, And then it, your mind just goes into overdrive thinking of everything that happened in that year. And, and it, Yeah, and if it's a hard year. Yeah, if it was a hard year, yeah. mine was a fucking awful year. Yeah. Thinking of... The next year to come, like what's going to ne- happen? It's probably nearly happy tears in a way, but yeah. also, but also, yeah, it's like bittersweet. N- yeah, bittersweet. Yeah. A new, a new start, but it's also the unknown as well. Yeah, kind of freaks me the fuck out. Yeah, I wish I was more like you, but I'm just an absolute disaster to be honest. I just think it gives me an excuse to just try get a bit organized. I'm the, I'm the most unorganized. If you're I not, don't, you're no, so no, I'm not. organized. No, but I, I really have to work hard to to seem organized. If do I don't mean? have something written down, I won't do it. I have to write down my notes to reply to people sometimes, eh? Because I forget. I reply to nobody. That's it's really bad. I'm, I'm so, so bad. if I don't have something written down, it's got certain, no chance, eh? Where do you write it? In my notes or in my, I got that digital diary thing. Oh, you're adorable. Love. I think yeah. it's because, do you know what? It's because it doesn't feel like, I think notebooks used to scare me because I was like, oh, like, I have to carry it around. Like, it's a new one over me. But like, whereas on an iPad, you feel like you're just on your phone. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't feel like it's a chore to write or like I've been journaling every day and you just love that little pen. I love that little pen. <laughs> and it's therapeutic. It's so like even do you remember when you're younger on whiteboard and school? Oh, like the, yeah, yeah. the digital ones. Oh yeah. I used to love writing. On the there. projector ones in the yeah, classroom. Like I remember just... I remember the year they all came in. Same. And we were all fascinated. Yeah. So like what? We got rid of the actual whiteboards and I wonder are the, I wonder are them ones that we would have had like outdated now. I wonder if they're like new, better ones. Definitely. Or they all have iPads or something. Yeah. They do. Or or some schools do. Some, <laughs> do they? <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're not that fucking old. Don't know what they're doing in school these days. Um, but so you've made you've mental goals, but you've no. Yeah, like the shit I want to do. Yeah. Like I want to buy a new car this month. Yeah, I'm buying my house this year. But there, I suppose you can see them as life goals and not just 2022. Yeah, if do they know? don't happen this year, they yeah. don't. But like, I, there's also other things that I want to do that might get in the way of that. Like, I obviously want to buy the house this year. You've yes. heard everything about this. Yeah. But I also want to travel as well. Like I want to, I want to, I want to be carefree in a sense of like, I love last minute plans. Same. I love them. And you're the best person to hang around with. Is why I love you. Because Charlene also loves the last minute plan. <laughs> like I love the whole, do you want to go on holiday next week? And I know I'm for one, like I was telling Cause Quiva. Because we, we want to go on holiday. I was telling week. Quiva about this, my sister. And she was like, yeah, well, it's all fucking well and good. Like you can do that, which I'm so lucky that we are able that's, to do I that. I think that's the best part about our job. Oh, it's so Robin. flexible. Yeah. That's what I love about it, but um, I want to do shit like that this year. I yeah. want to fancy going away next week. Absolutely, yeah. book me that plane ticket. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. There's a few other things I want to do. I want to get. I'm not skinny, but I want to lose weight. I want to need to lose weight. What else do I want to do? Like I don't want to set myself something so much that would would scare me. I have work goals as well, but like sometimes I think that when I didn't set a goal, I was like. I'm actually just doing it because I'm afraid of my own, like, of failing something. Yeah, that's what, that's sometimes, me. Sometimes you just have to set it and be like, if I fail, I don't want to set it because I don't want to disappoint myself. Yeah. It's to do with no one else, like, they're your own goals, but like, I don't want to have to turn around and be like, well, you didn't do that, you yeah. stupid bitch. Yeah. Like, I don't, but sometimes life gets fucking in the way. Maybe I need to do it this year. Maybe that can be a goal, to set myself to goals. To set goals, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, and Big also, people, not everyone has to set goals. I think Instagram makes people feel like you have to oh do. Oh my God. Yeah. I was so like, something about this year, it ju- it scared me. I was literally like, fuck, should yeah. I be doing this? I was barely posting over December. I kind of took a bit of a hiatus. Yeah. Michaela texted me yesterday and she was like, I'm worried about you. Your Instagram is gone so quiet. What's going on with you? Uh, no. I haven't been talking on it or anything, but something about that the week of New Year's, I was like, oh my God. 
Yeah. Oh, but it's probably as well because useless. it was because your December was so busy that then when you stopped, it just like, came down. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. The whole of December I spent distracting myself from life, basically. So yeah. then after New Year's, I was like, anybody not want to do a try, John? <laughs> <laughs> anybody who just uh, go and piss with me? Like, I was just expecting that routine to keep to happening. Keep going. That. The same busy days. Like, you know those days between Christmas and New Year's where you don't really that's know That's the, the bad thing not. sometimes about distracting yourself because then you're, when you stop, When the like, distraction stops yeah. and you're just left with yourself. Yeah. And it's like, so what now? So me and Charlene are going to Iceland in two weeks. Yippee! We decided. Yeah. yeah. Right, We're going to go for three days. That's... I have some see? of my... Um, got my resolutions written down can you tell us some of them yeah so I actually don't have them all because I wrote them all down funny Thanks, but yeah. these are just ideas I had during December that I put in um, that's the longest password I've ever seen in my life Leanne yeah. just wrote a paragraph into the password <laughs> we're not guessing that that was like a book <laughs> if we ever want to take over this room Jesus we're not getting into that computer so I want to do a skydive I do too. Do want, oh my I was God. talking to Elo about it the other night. He's doing one in April. Do you want to book it with him? Oh my it's God. for a charity. Will we? Yeah, it's in Ireland. That, my, my second thing is to help more and give more to charity. Put so in brackets Wheelo. We'll ask Wheelo where Okay, it is. I'm going to put that in now. Yeah. Wheelo, thank you. Uh, be, <laughs> more, so... be more present in oh, some me. situations. Like, do you know when, like, if you're on your phone too much or, like, distracting yourself on your phone, like, just to be, like, in... The moment. The moment. And not think about what you're doing tomorrow. Just just be happy with like right now. I like that. Doing. I start that. start yoga, which I started already. You did. Oh, I feel like a new fucking woman. Do you? It was amazing. Oh, I need to do because I'm very tight. Like all oh, my my whole body is like a stiff. Like <laughs> so, I was like opening up parts that I've never no like <laughs> woo. Um, take care of my brain. So I like. I, I booked a set. I booked a set of six therapy sessions. Oh, well done. So that's done. Well done. Um. Prioritize my days, structure my days more, uh, read and be happy. And then there's like mm-hmm. kind of more work goals. Yeah, uh, I have my separate. worky ones. They're, yeah, they're, and they're my, I've written them down. Karen will find out about but them. Then, like them ones aren't like, none of them I could like fail at. Do you get me? So it's nice to have goals that you can be like, these are little improvements that I want to develop, self-development goals yeah. I feel. Like the most recent thing in my notes is um, what I bought my family for Christmas because I had to do a list of them. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I have a little thing there that says Charlene and Quiva. Don't really know what that was, to be honest. Uh, charcuterie board, sunbed, alcohol, and fresh bed. So, fresh be- Are they all separate notes or just one note? No, like it's just a big oh, list of shit. Like, I don't. Content. What? Like, I really don't know what's going on in here. My sometimes. notes are yeah, a bit jumbled. No, there's so many of them that I'm just like, I'm, look at like people's eye bands. God, if anybody got my phone, I'd be bled dry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, I, I don't know whose eye bands they are. Yeah. Actually, I don't think you can do that with someone's eye band, though. Oh, I think you can. Can you? Just one eye band? Mm, you could send them money if you found yeah, someone's eye band. Yeah, that's all you could do. Thank you, <laughs> sure, Daddy. Yeah, but yeah. I kind of like that we're different though, because in one sense, I ho- I hope that you rub off me a little bit, and I kind of rub off me. Yeah. yeah. No, you. I absolutely don't need no, to rub sometimes off you. I'm very, I, I, do you know what? I'm so weird. Like I feel like sometimes I'm very highly strung, but I'm also really relaxed at the same time. Like really laid back. No, I don't think you're a laid back. Not at all. No, you are. But I, I think don't. I'm like a, I'm a highly strung, laid back person. Yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't That's, really make any sense. No, it doesn't it make, does make sense, sense. But it's chaotic sense in your head. Chaotic, no. chaotic. Okay, but you're also, very focused. You're very like yeah, on the ball. Yeah. But I find if I'm. When I'm focused, I'll run with it while I can. But then I'll have like, if I need a break, I'll take it. But I'm like, if I'm focused, I'm going to focus hard. No, it's one of the things that I need to learn this year, maybe, is to stop putting everything on the long finger. It's the idea that My dad does that to all the time. He's like, that Kelly long, long finger. <laughs> He's that Kelly long finger. I it's put it everything ever. off. I know. Until the last minute, until I have to do it. And then I'm like, oh, and then it yeah. becomes a chore. Whereas if I just did it, Regardless if it's like work or I don't fucking know, cleaning up a home or anything. If I had, if I did it where my mind well, told me to yeah, do it, it yeah. wouldn't be such a pain in the arse. You like, might enjoy it then. Yeah. And if you do it like more like break up your things rather than, because when, when I leave things a long finger, it's like all at once. That's yeah. just like, Every, yeah, I, was, yeah, yeah. So, I didn't sleep the night before I went away because I had so much I know, stuff yeah, to you do. You were packing in your I didn't sleep. until 3 a.m. or something. I did you? not sleep. Yeah, I was doing, I was doing Instagram work Megan until 12. Megan had to go didn't yeah. she? Hell. Things are really bad. Things are things have never been worse. <laughs> never. That was the quote of December. <laughs> things have never been worse, but also never fair. Yeah, we had a good Christmas. Yes, we really did. Just very drunk. Oh God. So if your New Year's resolutions is a new year, new you, which by the way I don't like that. New year, new me. I don't like that. Quote. Now I put up a thing saying New Year, new phone. 
that yeah, was allowed that's true. Yeah, new well, memories. I, think, I just don't. Song, I don't like. think people should see it as having to make a new you. Just a better you. Yeah. Even if it's by one percent, just an improved you. Not even like yeah. It doesn't have to be new. But you don't if have to change, yeah. Your whole self. But if you have dilemmas yes. and you want to improve yourself, mm-hmm. that's why we have the segment which is Secret from the Stalls. It's basically the bathroom stalls on night out. Yes. What would you ask a stranger? Sorry, the bathroom stall on the night out. New Year's. Apparently, we spent hours. Oh, in the we were oh, talking. We shite. we were doing the live. We, it's a mistake. We were no, Leanne. We did a live reenactment of Secrets from the Stalls. Oh, we we talked pony shit. Pony for to anyone who would listen. Oh, if anybody came near us in that bathroom, we were just you, chatting. You, you, what's your problem? We had drinks and all in there at one stage. It, seriously, yeah, we were literally. We having were probably drinks. getting drinks delivered. Like, Honest to God, I think I was sitting on the sink at one stage for. I was like, you were in there for hours. I was like, yeah, I was literally just talking to me the whole <laughs> just time. Talking like shit, honestly. But um, yeah, so. This is our Hold My Drink Secret from the Stalls. Where we try help, but we're not Bible. No, we're not Bible. We say that all the time. Someone actually messaged me when I was saying, what does Bible mean? It just means that we're not like... Bible is like, for someone what Catholic, it would be like someone who swears by the Bible. Like yeah, that's how they not, live their life. But yeah, we're, oh, not, yeah. we're not how you live your life. No, absolutely. Yeah. Please, <laughs> just take us with a pinch of salt. This is just our reaction to... Yeah. Um, the Secret from the Stalls. Lads, my back is in bits. I think, is it? I think I'm, I have scoliosis. I think I need to get a resolution to get better posture. I want to go and get my back cracked. <gasps> do it. Or one of those chiropractors, chiropractors where they just crack it all I up do, and down. They done me and it was unreal. They like clicked my hip back into place. Yeah, not. see, I think I'd, I'd be a real loosey-goosey then. And they can tell how like tense your arm was hurt by how much you crack. Really? I was like, <laughs> my back would honestly sound like yeah. a truck ran me over. Yeah. Jesus Christ, my elbow. You're going to need it. I'm breaking myself up here today. I don't really know what's You're going to need elbow work Christ as well. To God. <laughs> but um, yeah, do you want to start with the first one? Yeah, so the first one is, what if I'm outgrowing my partner? Hate even saying this. I think if it's a thought, it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. you're even thinking like that. Yeah, it's probably, or it's like planting the seeds. Yeah, because if you weren't, Thinking that you wouldn't, but I just think it. I just think don't think that's spoken about enough because usually, especially like even like a podcast or ending, like when you talk about breakups, it's always like something someone's happened, a, someone's a prick, someone's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. someone done something, someone cheated. You like can some, genuinely just fall out alone. Yeah, and it's sad to as say, sad but as that you is. can. Yeah, not even necessarily out of love with them, but just the relationship, the relationship, yeah. or like as well when you grow as a person and you change. I think that's how that happens. Yeah. And as well, if you're together since a really young age, say like, do you ever see people that like get together when they're like 13? Yeah. As they grow older, they just don't, they're not the same people. They don't mesh. Yeah, They're yeah. not the same. And it's nothing, it doesn't make you a bad person. It's natural. It doesn't make you either a bad person. Yeah, it's no. just how life got, sure, it's even like friendships and stuff. Like as you grow older, you grow apart. Exactly. Yeah, look at it like that. Yeah, like exactly. when you were younger, you said like, oh my God, we're going to be best friends forever. Imagine us when we're older and all. There's so many people like that in my life that I don't even speak to anymore. People who you would have made your fucking bridesmaids. Yeah. Made it doesn't mean yeah. you don't love them. It's just life goes in different ways sometimes and that can happen in a, rela- in a relationship, I think. Yeah. So Definitely. maybe have a conversation with them. Or do you? Do you bring it up to them? Like, I think wait until it's been ta- thought about for um, a while, though. Yeah, maybe you're just going through a bit of an iffy patch. It could be, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's you need... a new year, it's weird. Yeah, or maybe you need like a little bit of I like, excitement. Yeah. Go on a little holiday. Yeah. Buy some lingerie. Yeah. No. Something it's hard though. Spicy. But if the thought is still there yeah. after a good while and it's coming in between the relationship, I think it's a conversation that needs to be had. Because it could mean you might just need a little time apart and then you might mesh together. Yeah. Maybe. Then you'll realise how much you actually want to be yeah. with them. But I think as well, if she, like, mm. this woman could be with her, him for like, or him or her for years and years. It's mm. like, it's, you've never known life without each other in a way. So it, you might be curious about. Oh, what what is it like to be, yeah, yeah, or to be able to do what you want? So, it's just don't feel like. I feel like she feels really bad. No, hey, even saying, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's so it's so natural, and just speaking about it with your friends as well, because I think that will broaden. Even like us, maybe saying this to you will just open your mind up to like maybe it's just that, maybe it is, maybe it is just because I'm grown. Could be a few different things. Exactly. Um, I hope you're okay. The next one says, have the opportunity to go abroad for college for a year, but I, I don't want to leave my BF. Do it. <laughs> Charlene, leave no, him. <laughs> leave him. Now, of course, I'll tell you why, right? I was doing a J1, and I had a boyfriend at the time, not Dano. And I remember I was in work in Pennies. I remember telling people, oh, like, I'm doing this J1, which is three months, by the way, in America. And everyone was like, oh my God. Is that God. when you went to Boston? Yeah. 
so I was 19 at the time and I remember everyone being like oh I could never leave my boyfriend and that kind of made me be like oh god like should I not be now I know that was only three months but then we broke up a couple, like wherever long later I was like thank fuck god. I didn't let him <clears throat> like Excuse me. Ch- like not let me have that unreal experience yeah. like imagine yeah like it's you have to do it. You're imagine gonna, the other you'll, side of it. If you did let him decide for you not to go, imagine you'd, you'd end up resenting you him resen- more. You'll resent yeah. him 110%. Yeah. yeah. And you think if that's in your head, just do it. And also college isn't in a full year. College is what? It's, the school year is only nine months or something, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And you can come home and it's probably you're probably going to college in like Europe and stuff. Like If you are meant to be, I think I think any relationship should be able to last a year yeah. without living with each other. We'll come home on the weekends if it's possible, or he could go out. And over. a year, in, if he's forever, a year in the grand scheme of things is nothing. It's not even a full year. Like it's not even said. a full year. You can see each other. It's not like you're away with the military. Do you know that kind yeah, of way? Yeah. Do it now, and I'm actually going to be annoyed if you don't. Yeah. Because I think schools should not that I did college, but my <laughs> mom would always say like I think school and stuff should be priority. Yeah. She always said if we were in school, she'd pay for our life. Like she'd you know like fund you. Yeah. Yeah. If we weren't, no, out in the big bad world. So I think if you're if you're to break up, you'd be like, why don't I do that? And if you stay together, you're gonna resent them. So either way, you're gonna be unhappy if you don't do it. So, yeah. so do it. Do it. Next one is I don't love my GF style. Like I've never said anything about it. I do love it, but sometimes I'm like, Do you have to wear that? I've never said anything, but will I just leave it be? No, help her. Yeah. We only when Charlene read this out earlier on, I was like, Oh my god, I can relate to that because I hate no, I don't hate my style. But I don't have great style. I wouldn't. I think you do. No, I don't. I really don't. Like, I wouldn't be as trendy as you or Anne. Like, so if I had somebody in my life who could help me, like I was saying, I had a picture of the other day and um, our friend Quiva literally dressed me head to toe. I had her runners on, her <laughs> the cargo pants on and a jumper. Oh my God, I felt so hot and everybody loved my outfit. And I was like, oh my God, I would have never picked this yeah, for myself. For yourself. So if somebody in your life could help you, like, obviously yeah. she'd be offended by it. No. Maybe suggest things though, but just be like, don't be a oh, bitch this, this, about it. Like, you could you be like, rotten. you could be like, this outfit would be gorgeous on you. Why don't yeah. you try something? Like, I, I feel but like you're not hurting her feelings. Yeah, it depends what the person's like. If there's someone who can take like a joke, you could be like, I'll stay that or something. Yeah. You know I mean, because if you're with someone that long, like, but then again, what if she has like a mad quirky style? Yeah, that's true. What if it's real? It quirky might, it and might she be, loves it. Like, yeah. Then what do you do? You just have to love someone for her there, don't you? Yeah. Sometimes. And the girlfriend just says, "Fuck off, yeah. I want." Yeah, but I like, do I get the whole help help with. I say to you all the time, I'm like, can you please just dress me, Charlene? Please, <laughs> every, every day. day. I love Charlene. Just text me in the morning, being like, this is what we're today. I'm just planned out. Imagine like a thing where you could see everything in your wardrobe, or like you just flick through it all like an iPad. They definitely had glad. that on like a Bratz movie. They, did, or something. they had it in, like, uh, yes, Wasn't yeah, 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 and Clueless as well. Oh, God, and we need. Um, but yeah, I think definitely just suggest things without being an arsehole. And if it doesn't, and if it doesn't work out. You still love her. Yeah. So don't be like, I Clothes hate your style. don't define a person. Like. No. And I think if you, I think sometimes communication is key, but I think if you say, I don't like your style, I think that's a big... I'd be like, fuck you. Yeah. Yes. I'd be like, all right. <laughs> I don't think I... I don't I've, like your style. Like, I've found people that I haven't really liked their style, but it's just... You kind of look past it, don't you? Yeah. A but you, then you look back and you're like, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think love is blind sometimes, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> Jesus, that was really extreme. Christ. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> the last one then that we have says, are arguments or tiffs in a relationship normal or a red flag? Normal. I think it'd be a red flag if there it weren't didn't. none. Yeah. If it was too perfect. It's definitely something going on but in the now, background now, there. Not, not like all every day. No. That's a red flag. Yeah. Or if they're like, like heated where like he's like blocking you and all that's a red flag. No. Yeah. But a little tiff. I love a little tiff. Love a little. Do you? Little back and forth. Yeah. What? Like, would you, would you start one? Like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm in that kind of mindset now, I'm going to tell you, I'm just a bitch. I really have. I've been turned into the bitch. So from now on, I'm just the one to always start tiffs and shit. No, but yeah, I think, like, I think that's healthy in a relationship to have, like, a. Yeah. Not an argument, obviously. Okay. Maybe not arguments, but tiffs. Little, like, yes, no. Yeah. Like, Thinking different. I think. I think that when you say, when you voice a tiff, it it stops an argument. So if you say mm. oh, you're annoying me or something, like wh- rather than let it build up, yeah, inside, and it goes like oh, and yeah. sit into this huge thing. It's actually it explodes better. then. Yeah, yeah. No, they're absolutely completely normal. I'm trying to think what my last tiff was. Oh God, with Tano. Um, I think the room just bit. 
I'm being messy, like, even though it was all me. <laughs> Marcy, just blame Dano. Just like, Dano, Dano just the bit. Bit. I'm like, Dano, pick up them boxers, <laughs> even though, like, there's clothes on everywhere. There's one thing in Dano's, I'm like, yeah, one, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, no. No, but, so normal. Yeah. Yeah. Healthy. Yes. Healthy it's a green, a green flag, in a way. Mm-hmm. But nothing, like, con- culture names and stuff. Yeah, there's a line. So just make sure it doesn't cross the line. And once it's not crossing a line, we're all good. Yeah. yeah. And once it doesn't drag into like days and months and Early all that shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck that. I'm saying run. Um, yes, yeah, they were a secret from the stalls. They were, I, liked I liked them. them. Yeah. yeah. They're really... We got good ones. Yeah, we did get really good ones. <laughs> I think everyone's fresh after January. I know. And everyone's like, I need to get my life together. So. Yeah. If we're your source of that, then. Yeah, I love Seek of the South. Yeah, so do I. I really do. Yeah. We actually f- forgot about this segment last. This one, yeah. Yeah, Sip or Skip. We got in trouble. Yeah. So we're going to do Sip or Skip, which is basically one topic based off this week's episode. If we sip, it means that we agree with the note. Topic. With the note. Is, that, the, the, is it the motion or the motion? The mo- oh, the motion. The motion. <laughs> What is it's it? Motion is motion. motion with the mo- is, it? is that right? Say motion in that way. The motion. It, it means we agree with the, m- the motion. motion. If we skip, it means we disagree. Okay. So this week's skip or skip is New Year's resolutions. The motion is New Year's resolutions. Yes. I am saying si- sip. Yeah. Because I loved. I am saying skip because they terrify me. I think it. I think sometimes it can also set you off badly as well. Like, what if you set yourself like loads of goals and like you're all fresh at the start of January and then like it all goes downhill yeah and then it all goes downhill you'd run yourself into a spiral like you just I think sometimes it can put uh, unnecessary pressure on yourself at the start of the year so I think like even like a monthly thing okay maybe like having like one little goal a month see I'd, I'd, I'd rather like yearly because if I do monthly and I don't like if you don't do it yeah, because I'm like, but I like if I don't have something done by November, I'm like, oh, I can still do it, like on the long <laughs> finger channel kind of way. You're but, like December 2022, trying yeah, to do them all. Yeah, yeah. But I think that it's, I think it's nice to have something to look forward to. And I think once you, if you like, try be really accepting of your surroundings and stuff that happens, mm. you're like, oh, if that doesn't happen, it's okay. Mm. But at least I have it in my head that it, you have a better chance if you said it and it doesn't happen rather if not setting it at all. Yeah. I do think. you know what I think it is for me? And this is only just me personally. It's so unrealistic. Like it's an unrealistic standard for me to be. Mm. It's just, and that's not to say I don't have goals in life. Of course I do. God, but I just think the whole New Year's resolution and like, like you said earlier, you're the like, New Year. You're like the Grinch of, of, New, Year, of New Year's. I am the Grinch of New Year's. I fucking hate it. I hate this time of year. Yeah. It just scares me. It's just the uncertainty, the unknown, the un, like the, the pressure of it and all. I'm just like, skip January, get me into February. I'm grand in February. Like, I'll be back to normal. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll yeah. stop being a Grinch then. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I'm saying. But do you think you'll be converted to write goals now? I might not write them. But have them. I'll have head. them. Yeah, I'll have them in my head. I might not write them down because number one, I'll lose the paper. Number two, <laughs> no, it just won't happen. Actually, in the I remember in the gym years ago, one of me and the trainers that used to be in the gym. Uh, I don't know what we're talking about. I think we're talking about the the secret. Oh yes, Calvin O'Brien's favorite thing. Favorite. He hates all that. <laughs> but um, we were talking about the secret or something, and he said that there's this thing you can print off online. It's a yeah. check from the secret. And you like write a, um, a certain amount of money goal into it, and like you hide not hide it somewhere in your house, but you just have it somewhere like that visible. And so you look at it, and you yeah, you look at it together. every day. Did, who else did that? Jim Carrey did it, I think. There's some oh, story about Jim did. Carrey, didn't he? Put it above his bed or something. Like yeah, that. you put like a million dollars on it or yeah. something, and yeah, yeah, had yeah. that to look at and focus on every yeah. day. But yeah. I'd lose it, like I said. Yeah, you can I make a digital one or something. Have it on your phone. Yeah picture of a million but like even you have to look at it in a way as if like even if you only make 20,000 of that million like you still made something yeah. it's not It's not a failure if you don't reach a goal any goal yeah yeah do you know yeah as long as you try aww you gotta get it <laughs> and try <laughs> so so you still that. so you still skip yeah I just hate New Year's no. maybe it's not the resol- okay well, I can't speak maybe it's not the resolutions that I hate yeah true that's true but in general New Year's and all that jazz Skipping it. Yeah. Hate it. I'm sipping my little Starbucks. She's actually there. sipping it here. I had a coffee, but it's all gone now. So, yeah. So, oh, we're back, lads. Yay. Yay. I'm so happy. 
Thanks for listening again. Yeah. Is this episode 13? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. It? God, we're flying it with this, aren't we? Yeah. I hope you've all missed us. Hope you've all actually had a lovely break over the crimbo. Yeah. I went a bit mental. <laughs> so don't worry. There's a few <laughs> stories coming for the month of December because it was batshit crazy. And life's just weird at the moment anyway, isn't it? With yeah, stuff. Not, not it's, really happy about. it's very uncertain. See? Telling you, it's the whole New Year's thing. Yeah. No, Absolutely. no, but the, the, I think the uncertainty is like the COVID thing. The C oh, all word. that crack. Yeah. We don't talk about the C word. No. We cancelled it actually of our group chat, didn't we? We cancelled it. And then we yeah, realised your name starts with a C and so does Squeeve. Yeah, so we, fuck. <laughs> we're like, anything but that begins with yeah. the letter C. <laughs> any, yeah, any C's are cancelled, okay? And then we're like, okay, never mind. Yeah, we can't read. To change our initials. Yes. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed this week's episode. Yeah, let us know if you are a New Year's resolution fan or enemy. <laughs> I was like, shit, what more to ask as well? Nothing. Or hater. Yeah, let us know. Um, and like always, Charlene puts up the secrets from the stalls. The reason that Charlene does it is because I would forget. <laughs> uh, so Charlene does the secrets from the stalls every week. Um, so if there's anything that you ever want to be like featured on the podcast yeah. or any dilemmas or anything, do pop them in there. And also listen back to the old episodes because some things we've already kind of touched, touched on, on that yeah, we won't, we won't do it straight away again. We will probably again at some point. Obviously, you have to keep going with them. So there's going to be doubles. But yeah. if you're bored or if you want to listen to the other ones, do that as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're yeah. cute. So we love you. We're so glad to be back and we're so looking forward to Hold My Drink in 2022. We have lots of plans already, actually. Can you tell we're not hungover, actually? Oh, so. No. so energetic. It was the first thing I wrote into the chat today. I was like, yeah, we're not hungover. <laughs> Yay. Um, but yeah, we're so excited. We have so much plans, so much in the pipeline. So it's exciting thing. We're going to do merch, actually. Yes. Oh, we just no, talked about one drunk night in Christmas. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. can we make tracksuits? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. But anyway, keep your eyes peeled. And we yeah. love you. We love you. Love you loads. Bye. Bye. Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app.